as we wind up season number 20 of Preps Plus. We take a step back and wonder, in 20 years, who will be the next? Scott Babbler, Brad Preter, Craig Harden, Lance Allen, and Mark Stewart. Well, they could be right here at Oak Creek High School. It's called night vision, and this motivated group of students covers over a dozen football and basketball games throughout the school year. Live television, there's no pressure like that. So they have to learn to depend on one another and to, you know, to pull your weight in order to make the uh, production go smoothly. It's fun to be part of that and to like, get that energy that comes from doing a live sports event like this. The experience is invaluable. Whether a student is simply looking for something fun to do after school or trying to jumpstart a future career in television, this workshop is the place to be. I really like it. It's pretty fun. It's just something to do after school and I appreciate like the kind of work and hard dedication that everyone puts into the production. It's pretty cool. Being able to color commentate or work with TV equipment or recording stuff, that's always been a passion of mine, so hopefully farther down the road, saving up some more money so I can go to college, I can try to get into some TV stuff. My dad and my mom were always like, oh, we never had anything like that when we were in high school, so it's like super cool that you get to work with it like hands-on before you even go to college. Night Vision covers all the bases of the profession. For hoops, four cameras capture all the action. The control room houses the director, tech, and graphics personnel. And of course, you have the broadcast team. In this case, it's Brian Schmidt providing color and Xavier Savoy on play-by-play. -play. Back to Miro, to Smith. Smith in the paint, little hook shot, good. Nice little hook shot, that's something you gotta develop. Our new play-by-play -play guy, Xavier, is only a freshman, and you gotta have some guts to do that, because you're putting yourself out there, and. Maybe because he's youth, he's young, and he doesn't know, or maybe he's just kind of got that attitude that he's been really great for us this basketball season. To be honest, I just like to talk. I started talking when I was three months old, my parents say, and I just like to talk. I guess I just wanted to bring that to my school and be excited to like talk about things with people. I mean, the first time I did it, I was shaking, I was nervous. I really didn't say much, but I finally figured out that if I make a mistake, it's okay. I can just go right along with it. I can try to correct it and I just move on. I, can, I have fun doing this. It's always a great time. Night vision has been around in some form since the 1980s, going from in-house to local cable to the worldwide present technology of Periscope and YouTube. And the success stories continue to add up. We've had students that, uh, that have gone into this and have worked. Um, they work in motion pictures, they work in television sports, they work in television news, they work in just about every aspect of the you know, video and film production industry. And I like to think that, hey, I helped give them their start 